Hey guys, how's it going? It is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to Furniture Friday. Today we have probably one of the biggest episodes, well it might be one of the biggest episodes of Furniture Friday ever. Because we are taking a look at so many changes today and you'll see when we go over to Craig here how many changes there are. Now there's also a new piece of furniture as well. So uh, this is gonna be, hey, this is gonna be a good episode. I, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it, you know? It's gonna be good. But anyway, let's head over to Craig here right now. Alrighty, so let's go into the garage here and uh, I wanna go ahead and uh, take our mini bike here over to Craig here. If you guys don't know, we've got like all these boost pads around my town right now. So it's actually, uh, quite easy to get around everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, it didn't work. Oh. Ah, Mom! <laughs> let's go ahead and let's do this one real quickly. Woo! Oh, we missed Craig here. Here we are though. Here we are, Craig here. Okay, so here we are at Craig here and as you can see out the front here, we have so many crates. Normally we have like one or two, but this time we have like eight. Actually nine if we consider the one on top there. So we have nine crates to open today. Now the new furniture is at the end here. And we're gonna be taking a look at that last because you know gotta keep gotta keep the best till last, you know. So there's the new furniture at the end. And we're gonna go through all these crates starting at the first one here and then going down that way, but I promise you guys, all these changes, you guys are going to love. Well, I hope you, I hope you guys love them. <laughs> uh, but they're really cool changes that I've made to my furniture mod, and uh, basically they modernize it. So let's go ahead, let's grab out the crowbar here, and let's start with the first change. Alrighty, let's break this crate open. What is it gonna be? I don't know, actually, I kind of forgot what's in half of these, so let's go ahead, let's open this up, bit of a surprise for me. Uh, did I do that right? Hold up. <laughs> hey, here we go, my dudes. So, this first change to the furniture mod is that you can now get the doormats in every single color. Previously in the furniture mod, you could only get it in this brown color here. So, hello. Hello, everybody. So you can only get it in this brown one. However, now you can actually get it in every single color. So you can get a yellow one if you want to. You can get a red one. Oh, I love the red one. Uh, maybe we'll give Craig here one because uh, they kind of need a doormat at the front here. Uh, we could do something like, welcome to... Uh oh, okay, yeah, wait, why is that got a yellow border? Uh, why is that got a white border? <laughs> uh, to Craig here, I might have to look into that. I'm, I'm not sure why that's got a, a white border on it, but as you can see, we have some nice doormats there. Does it do it for the other ones? All right, it looks like the blue ones are bugged, but all the other ones seem to be working uh, correctly. Um, but yeah, you can get every single color now, so you can customize your doormat to however you like. And I thought that was a, uh, a good thing to add in. But let's go ahead, let's check out the next change right now. Alrighty, so let's open number two up here. What is it gonna be? Oh, oh, this one. I, I, <laughs> I didn't even know this was in it. But as you can see, we now have the kitchen counters in every single color. And uh, just again, to reiterate what it was like in the previous versions, you can actually only get these kind of cyan versions of them, but now you can get it in every single color. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. So you can, you can pretty much create the ultimate kitchen, and we are going to be creating the ultimate kitchen later on. Um, maybe that gives you guys, guys a kind of a hint what the new furniture might be, um, but I'm not going to tell you right now. You've probably already seen it from the thumbnail, but... <laughs> um, this is awesome. So you can combine these as well, so they don't actually have to be um, the same color to be combined, but uh, you can create any sort of kitchen you want, and these look amazing. I love these. I love these now. So another change that you guys might not notice straight off the bat here is that um, the white texture on the bottom is now actually the concrete texture before it was actually quartz. So that's a a small little change there, just in case you didn't notice. But oh, have a look at this. We got the red. We got the red kitchen counter. Oh, that, that's that's what we need. In my mansion, a red kitchen. I definitely think we need to do that. But let's go ahead. Let's head on to the third change right now. 
Alrighty, what is this gonna be? What is it gonna be? Oh, so yeah, kind of just like the last one we looked at. Uh, we had the red kitchen, or the, the colored kitchen counters. You can also get the sink version in the colored, um, in the colored variants as well. So, you know, obviously I don't have the other ones with me, but you can imagine if you place them next to each other, uh, you would have a, why has that already got water in it? That shouldn't have water. Why does that have water? I might have to look into that and see what the problem is, but uh, that's one of the changes. You can now get the kitchen sink as well in all the colors. Alrighty, next one here, change number four. It's getting exciting. We're slowly getting to the end here. I can't wait to reveal the new furniture, but let's open this one up. Oh, dang! <laughs> so I've reworked the bar stool textures and uh, made them feel a little bit more modern. So if we go ahead and we place these down, let's place a bunch of these down right now. Maybe we should get some better colors. Those are kind of the, uh, the ugly colors, if I say so. Uh, let's place some green, red, light blue, pink, magenta, purple, green. Have a look at all these. So no longer does it use a wool texture on top. I wanted to go for something that's a little bit more flat. So. Uh, we are using, uh, this is the uh, hardened clay on the top here. As well, I've also changed the texture of this kind of base of the chair here. So now it's actually using uh, the light gray concrete texture. But these look amazing. What do you guys think of these n brand new looking bar stools? I think they, uh, they fit this update very, very well and look better than the old ones in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead, let's take that away. Let's open up the next crate here. Change number five. What is this going to be? I don't know because uh, I forgot what I put in these crates. Uh, let's go ahead and break it open. Oh, this one's a good one. I really like this change actually. I thought this is a, I thought this is a neat little change, but now you can actually get mailboxes in all the different wood variants. So maybe we actually need to have mailboxes for all around my town here. So let's go ahead. Let's give this one, what do we give it, dark oak? I uh, can't really see that one. Uh, not the oak one, come on. The oak one was already in the mod. Uh, we have the acacia one. Okay, maybe Craig here can have the acacia one or it could have the jungle one here. Uh, what's the last one? The spruce. Oh, maybe we'll give it the spruce one. So crate here, because it matches kind of the crates uh, that the furniture comes in. So that's kind of a good mix. Maybe we could give this one over here. What should we give this one? And then we'll give it the, uh, hmm, what one fits the best here? Uh, it kind of fits. Kind of fits the birch one. I just surpri Surprising the birch one actually looks good. All right, let's give it the, uh, maybe we'll just give all the buildings a spruce mailbox just to be a little bit consistent there. Maybe like we'll have to deliver some mail. We need a mailman in the Cray Town. We need a mailman. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the uh, the mailboxes. Let's actually place them all down just so you guys can get a view of them all here. So yeah, all the mailboxes come in all the different wood types now. So a lot of customization in the furniture mod uh, with this update. Alrighty, let's go ahead. Let's open up the next crate here. Change number six now. I, I honestly, I really don't know what was in this one. I think I know what's in those one, but this one I don't remember. Oh yeah, this! Oh, I completely forgot about this. Uh, I've actually re I've remodeled the lamp uh, because it was kind of feeling a little bit outdated. Uh, it was something that was added right at the start of the furniture mod, so I've never touched it since. But now there's actually a better looking lamp and looks a whole lot more modern. So let's place a couple of these down just to show you guys what they actually look like. Uh, they're actually very colorful. I like that they're very colorful. Let's grab out the lime one, of course. The lime is the best color in the world. Uh, I've already placed one of those down. Have a look at those. Those are looking so vibrant now. And uh, as well, you can actually, you know, create a floor lamp as well by placing it on top. Maybe some of you guys didn't even know you could do that. Well, you can. So placing a lamp on the top will actually make it a floor lamp. Let's go ahead and place a couple more of those down. But yeah, that's really cool. And of course, if it was actually uh, night time here, night, 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 night. We can actually right click these and uh, they will turn on. And uh, as well, if you got a floor lamp like this, um, you can make it taller if you want to. Let's go ahead, let's make this a little bit taller. Maybe we'll create a big gigantic one. You can actually right click the bottom here and uh, it will turn the light on at the top there. So anywhere you right click on the lamp, 
uh, will turn the light on. Just a cool little feature, just in case you guys did not know about that. Let's go ahead, let's get rid of these, and uh, let's open up the next crate right now. Alright, this one is kind of a small change, but it affects a ton of pieces of furniture that have already that are already in the furniture mod. So let's open both of these ones up right now. So change number seven. Alrighty, so basically we have a bunch of the furniture that's already in my mod. And you might be asking, you know, what's different with these? Well, um, nothing in terms of how they work, but visually they look a whole lot better. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let's place them down all over here. So let's uh, go ahead, let's get the appliances first. So we have the, uh, the washing machine, the oven, the dishwasher. Uh, let's place the uh, range or the uh, the range hood over the oven here, like that. Uh, let's go ahead. What do we need to place down the toilet? Let's get the basin now. Let's get all the uh, kind of um, bathroom furniture here. The basin, the bath. Uh, what do we got? The shower. We need to put the shower uh, head as well. Or the uh, I forgot. I, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's called something. It's called something. Let's go ahead. Let's actually make it look half decent as well. And uh, all right, what do we have? What haven't we placed down? We got the diving board. <laughs> Just a straight up diving board right there. Let's go about the toaster, the blender, the cookie jar. Let's place all these down. And you might notice already what is different with these, but I will tell you guys just in case. You don't really notice it right now. Alrighty, so that was pretty much all of them placed down now. Alrighty, so that's all of them placed down. So the changes that have happened to all these pieces of furniture is that I've improved the textures of all of them. So you'll come to the oven here and you'll notice everything looks a whole lot cleaner. So at the front here, I've now got the concrete light gray texture and I've also changed around this here to be the concrete red, this one here is the concrete grey, and the base of all the appliances and furniture here is now the concrete white. So everything looks a whole lot cleaner, a whole lot modern, because this is the modern update guys. This is the basically adding in modern furniture, but also modernizing all the other ones. But let's go ahead, let's head back to Craig here right now because we have the last one to check out. This is the brand new piece of furniture that I was telling you guys about. So if you've got to this point in this video and you've enjoyed the video so far, make sure you guys remember to go ahead and snap that like button, subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the latest Furniture Fridays and turn on the bell notification so you actually get notified when the videos go up. So let's go ahead, let's open this up right now in three, two, one. Hey, here it is my dudes. We have the brand new addition to kitchens. I finally added in a kind of a drawer version of the kitchen counters. So as you can see, we now have these kind of drawers and of course, yes my dudes, you can actually right click these and put items inside of it. So if we right click here, we can open it up, we can put the, the, uh, the kitchen counter drawers in there and uh, it's just a uh, another addition to the kitchen and uh, it does make your kitchens look a whole lot better because previ because previously you actually had to use let's have a look have a look at this look how many items there are in my furniture mod now it's ab it's absolutely insane but previously you actually had to use kind of the uh, the kitchen cabinets for storage and that was that was it you know you couldn't put anything else in it but now you've got the option to uh, store items inside of these ki kitchen counter drawers. So on that note, we're gonna head back to my mansion and we're actually going to recreate my kitchen because as you guys know, uh, right now my kitchen's not really looking too well. Sir Piggles a while ago decided we needed a bouncing castle in the kitchen. Well, because he's gone and he doesn't know, we're actually going to make over, uh, we're gonna Remodel, remake, I don't know. <laughs> uh, give my kitchen a bit of a makeover and make it look a whole lot better now that we've got these kitchen counter drawers. Alrighty, so we're here taking the shopping cart back. That's how I, uh, this is how I get around my town in the shopping cart. Hey, let me open up. 
<laughs> this is how I just drive in straight into here with the with the trolley. <laughs> but this thing is not looking good, so we're gonna destroy this thing completely and uh, remodel it. So I think what we're gonna do is go for a red theme here. So we're gonna get out red kitchen counters, red kitchen counter sink, and then we're also going to get out the brand new. Uh, kitchen counter drawer, which is going to be the red version, of course. Oh, this is looking nice already. This is a big, big mansion kitchen. We need some bar stools over here. So we're going to get the brand new bar stools. Red, of course. You know, no other color would fit this. Look at that. We've got a ton of bar stools here ready to have guests over. All right, so we need to also add in some of these uh, kitchen counter drawers. We kind of forgot to put some of those in, so let's add some there. Let's add one here. We do need to make some space for our appliances as well, so we're going to need to grab... Uh, we're going to need these, of course. Uh, we're going to need to get a cookie jar, blender. We need an oven. Where's the oven at? We're going to need a dishwasher too, to wash our dishes. So I'll put the dishwasher next to... The, uh, the kitchen sink, uh, mind you, I don't really like the look of it when it's next to the kitchen sink because it doesn't connect up properly, so maybe we'll put like the dishwasher. I feel like the, like, the appliances should be together like that, so we'll have the, the oven and the dishwasher right there. Uh, what else haven't we placed into this kitchen? I feel like we're missing an essential right now. We're missing an essential. The plates! The plates we're missing. Oh, did I just spit? I just like spat. <laughs> Let's just add a couple of these in. Uh, of course, what we're going to do... Oh no, we can't do that. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh yeah, we can. Cheese and crackers for everybody. Cheese and crackers for everybody. We also need to put some cheese and crackers into these drawers here because, you know, that's the only food that we eat in this house is cheese and crackers for life. We also need to have some uh, red doormats out the front. Uh, we need to say, Welcome to Craze mansion no scrubs sorry no scrubs allowed all right no scrubs in my mansion all right there we go perfect and then to top it off we can just put the uh the shopping cart in here ready to go for the next shopping run perfect there we go my dudes my brand new kitchen in my mansion rate this out of 10 in the comment section below what do you guys think of this it looks a whole lot different than uh my other ones it's a lot more open now so we don't have an island in the middle anymore we actually just have this big gigantic mansion kitchen not a miniature not a miniature kitchen a mansion kitchen so um yeah <laughs> that's going to end off this video for today my dudes but hopefully you guys enjoyed Furniture Friday today. This update is now available, so link in the description below if you want to download this update. I highly suggest you do because this is going to be probably the one of the biggest updates I've pushed so far. Obviously, we're working towards an overall modern update. But anyway, if you guys haven't already, snap that like button, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so you get notified when new videos go up, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Also, send me some screenshots if you happen to play around with this mod. I forgot to mention that. So send them to me on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. And uh, I'll feature you. I'll feature you. I'll feature you, all right?